Cool. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm talking to Rob Lee today. Rob started working with me on his guitar playing around one year ago. So, and he's done fantastic. And I wanted to share with you his ex experience so far, which I think is a really inspiring one. So we're going to do a, a little bit of an interview and have a chat with Rob about, about how he's found my teaching. So thanks a lot for joining us today, Rob. I really, really appreciate it. Um, let's crack on with um first question is what was your motivation for for learning to play guitar a motivation i think as a school kid i thought it looked super cool i think any of the guys who saw top of the pops and all that sort of stuff in the 60s and 70s 80s i thought the guys who used to play guitar they used to get all the chicks and you think that's for me it just looked really cool and i think the confidence that it gives you i think it's it's a great skill to have not just guitaring but that skill is transferable and so i, I just think it, it was just a really cool thing to be a little bit different to learn instead of the drums or the trumpet just play guitar and that's what sort of motivates me and you can take a guitar anywhere you don't have to plug it in you can just take an acoustic on a beach on a on a piece you can take a guitar anywhere you want you've always got a friend yeah very true very very cool okay so um how was your how was your guitar playing where were you at with it uh, before we started working together okay before you and i started um it, i've had many one-to-one -one teachers and they seemed a great idea at the time uh, youtube wasn't around then videos weren't around then so you went to your one-to-one -one teacher you thought you enjoyed it you went back home and you've basically forgotten everything you've been taught and as you get older, that seems to become more prevalent. And so um, just prior to meeting yourself, uh, I was, I've not played guitar for years. And I'd been going through some, some issues at work and that sort of thing. So that was clouding my enjoyment. And then I was scrolling Facebook and I saw your ad. And I think the main question I saw was, are you a frustrated guitar player? And I thought, yes, I am a frustrated. I've always wanted to play guitar. Even from being a young kid, I've had three or four really good goals at playing guitar. Some have lasted years, five, 10 years, but ultimately it's always evaporated. And so now I'm in my late fifties, I thought, okay, let's give it a go. And I saw your program and it just gave me that sparkle again. It just gave me that, that vision or that desire to want to learn to pick up this instrument that's just been catching dust in the corner of the room for years so that's where i was and this is where we are now cool fantastic so what what was your experience like working with me sort of during the program over the last year uh, my experience working with yourself has been one of uh, a relaxed atmosphere even though we've been over this box it's not a, it's not like going to a shop it's modern technology so if i'm struggling it's because i can't work the box it's not about not playing the guitar it's, it's learning about zoom and facebook and what's all that stuff and so um learning this new technology to get through to yourself has been a challenge but working with yourself and the way the program is set up and the way you call your process, it just suits my um, style of learning. And uh, because I'm a, a, an aerospace engineer, I like to look at things in quite a lot of detail. Uh, my wife goes crazy with that because it's, anyway. And so I look at it and your program suits me really well. And I love the, the Q and A's on a Tuesday night, listening to other experiences because then I think, I'm not on my own with that particular issue. People are going through these issues and we can learn together. And you're the sort of glue that sticks all these different uh, wannabe guitarists and guitarists together. And so I've found that your particular program has been really, it's been very uh, welcoming. I've looked forward to it. It's, um, and it's, it's some of it's challenging. Certainly the songs that you we do on the Thursday night are challenging. And I think the scope suits everybody. It's not just one particular genre. It's a good mix of good old fashioned songs that people want to pick a guitar up and they want to play. And if you pick it up and you're confident enough to play, or, or, like last year was all in the garden because of COVID and stuff. We've got a fire pit out there and I pick the guitar up 
and started singing songs and people recognized them. That was my first, wow, they actually recognized them. And it was just, it just brings everybody together. And, and it sounds a bit soft, but that's there because of your tuition and your, your input. If you'd not done that, we wouldn't be having that fun out there. So I thank you. Fantastic. Well, you're, you've, been, you've done great um, with your progress up over the year. So really, really, really well done. What was the, what was the first song that you've learned to play? My first song was House of the Rising Sun, uh, and I played it on electric guitar, and um, it was okay, but it was never really what I want. I, I, in my mind, I could see, I could hear it, but my body and my brain couldn't compute it. There were too many things going on. And so uh, I picked it up acoustically, and an acoustic version really suits where I'm at now in life. I don't want to stand with an electric guitar and in front of a load of marshals. I just want a nice, chill time playing guitar. And so I generally now go for acoustic songs, Dylan songs, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but my first song was House of the Rising Sun, which I, which I still play today, but I play it acoustically. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, Fantastic. What, what are the songs have you learned? Um, what are the songs that you've learned over the, over the last year working together? Okay, my main, my main one, my main song that I asked you to transcribe was Kelly Jones into the world. Um, that to me was, it was quite a pivotal song because my mum had just died and it meant a lot to me. So asking you to transcribe that song, you did it really quickly, um, which is a fantastic skill. But and because I knew you was there and you could possibly do that. That gave me a lot of, uh, it sounds a bit soft, but you gave me a lot of comfort that I could really connect with that song. Um, and so that that's my main, that's one of my main songs at the moment. But I've got songs like Knocking Heaven's Door. That's an old classic, Blowing in the Wind, when you're feeling a bit mellow and chilled. Then I went to Dakota, because I really got into, I still am into Kelly Jones and that meaningful, soulful sound. Mm -hmm. And then I started dabbling in, um, Sweet Home Alabama. Now, I love that song, but I've got to be honest, it's because I like that song and don't love that song, I don't pick it up as much. Mm -hmm. And so I see these songs as plates, you spin plates, and you've got your go-tos, but Sweet Home Alabama, Sweet Home Alabama is definitely wobbling. I need to pick that back up. <laughs> sure. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And what does your... Um, what does your practice generally look like? Like how, how many times a week do you pick up the guitar and for how long? Okay, well, my practice generally in the week, I'll, I'm lucky enough to be in my own office, my music office. And this is where I work. So I've, I've got guitars around me. Uh, and so when I'm, not, when I'm not tapping keyboards and stuff, I'll pick my guitar up, I might have do a song, just do some strums, just, just get into a nice headspace. And then of an evening, I'll try and set an alarm eight o'clock till nine. I'll come in here, do some do some learning, some focus learning, which could be some of your songs off your big list of stuff. At the moment, I'm currently doing Wonderwall. Um, and so I'll come in here and I'll play your videos um, and I'll, I'll sit down and I'll really focus and try and learn it. And then the following day, I'll just just dabble and pick up. But. I bet I'm playing guitar virtually all the time when I'm when I'm really on it. There'll be some times, and what I've learned as a guitarist is you don't have to pick guitar up all the time. You pick it up when you want to pick it up. It's no good picking guitar up when you're stressed and you're just pick it up when you want to play guitar. Mm -hmm. And I think as you get older, you learn to realize that. Because when I was younger, I, want, I needed to know how to do that. I needed to know that because you got your peers and you wanted to compete. As you get older, you just leave your ego at the door and you just play guitar for fun, I guess. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that yeah, that's that's the aim, isn't it? To 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 enjoy it. Yeah, fantastic. Um, but that sounds like you really you really got you know a really good routine and an enjoyable yeah. sort of relationship with the guitar and integrated in, into your the, the way that you live. Fantastic. Would you would you recommend my teaching um, to to any to other people yes i would um 
I've got a couple of uh, good buddies who um, play guitar, and I've mentioned mentioned your good self to to these guys. But because they're so busy in uh, busy in life, they're struggling the more. But when they retire, the most I'll be signing up to yourself. Um, I have really enjoyed the way you have um, you structured everything. I've enjoyed the way you can pick it up and put it down. If you want to do strumming, you can do strumming. If you want to do something else, you do something else. If you, and, and it's just a really good way for me to learn. It suits my way of learning. And I think that um, if you've tried other things, if you've tried YouTube or books, tried traditional music books, I think, as a, a really good alternative would to try yourself to see if it fits in with yourself. And if it doesn't, you've tried. But at the end of the day, I think it's just, I think it's just a good way for, I think it's the way you do it. It's a good way of getting information into my head and it sticks. I can watch a video 20 times and it'll, it'll just evaporate. So I, I would recommend somebody come to yourself because it is, a, it is a different way. It is this new technology now, but I think it's quite a personal way. It's, it's a personal way where I can talk to you, you can talk to me, even though there's other people there, you do feel like you're in a room with a one-to-one -one tutor. And because everything's recorded, you can go back to it. Mm -hmm. And so you can look at that as many times as you want. So it really does suit my way of learning. So yes, I would recommend you. Nah, cheers, Rob. Sounds sounds like it's really working for you. So, yeah. well, I know it is because I've I've seen you play. But um, final question is: um, Do you have any advice that you would offer to an adult beginner who's you know frustrated with their playing and wants to learn to play guitar? Maybe you know the situation you were in a year ago. What what would you advise? My advice would be would be um, one, think about it. Two. After you've thought about it, give it a go. After you've given it a go and you become frustrated, put it down in the corner, then pick it back up. Then if you've got a good friend, they can, they can tell that person about, well, why don't you just see Ian O'Brien? Just go onto his course and have a go. And if you don't like it, put your guitar back down. But ultimately, I think... If you've got that inkling that you want to learn to play guitar, it stays with you for a long time. It's not life. It's a life subject. It's not just a one-year subject or two. It's a life subject. And so I think once you have got a good fit, it's like a good pair of slippers. If you've got a good pair of slippers, that's it. You stay with them. Okay? And so I would say to anybody, have a go. Because even though you've had a go maybe in the past, uh, pick it back up. You... I don't know if you've ever seen this. When you go, when you see a, um, a television program, there's always a guitar in the back of the front room and it's always catching dust. Well, I would say to that frustrated guitar player, pick it up, have a go. You just might amaze yourself and you just might enjoy it. And that's ultimately, I think we work hard and we should play hard, but we should play with fun. And if you're lucky enough to have a wife or a girlfriend or something like that, it gets you out to house for a few hours as well, and it gets you from underneath their skin. So there's benefits all around. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's solid advice. Thanks, Rob. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, well, really thanks for doing this interview, and um, I'm really pleased. I think, you, you know, your, your journey that you've been on and the songs you've learned and your experiences is really inspirational, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that you've... Um, agreed to kind of sh share this with, with other people. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, indeed. Um, to, to, to sort of wrap up, um, you mentioned you might um, you might have a go at playing a song to, to finish up. How do, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'll, oh, I'll have a little go if you want. If, if, yeah, um, fantastic. Get yeah. some cotton wool in your ears. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, knocking on his door. Sounds good. I'm 
never take this badge off me. I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door. Cool. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> great, great feel. Great vibe. Well, well played and sung as well, the coordination. Yeah, you're doing it. Really, really great. Um, well, thanks so much for this, Rob. Thanks again. I, I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, okay, mate. It's great to see you. And I'll see you on Tuesday night. Lovely.